Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Um, the sword on her 10 here, or word on her here. I've said that I messed it up quite a bit. Um, but anyway, um, I'm playing with the controller as you can tell, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but right now, I wanted to go over what we got in the last episode. We got the Goddess Longsword, a upgrade to our sword, and... Actually, we can do quite a bit with this. We we have double damage. And honestly, our sword is longer as well. So that's also nice. But without further ado, let's head up into the sky. Because we have quite a bit to do in the sky today. Okay, first thing that we're doing in the sky today. And this is why I'm using a controller. Um, I wanted to show a little thing that happens if you jump from a high point in the sky above the Lumpy Pumpkin. So, without further ado, can you please show up, game? There we go. These things. Okay. We want to collect all of them. It's hard to tell which ones we have yet and haven't collected. And we got them all. We create a ring like the, um, we mo like the Wii Sports Resort plus... I forget. Is it Wii Sports Resort Plus? Oh, come on. I missed the last one. Ah, oh, he showed up at the last second. But if you get all of them, I'm pretty sure I can actually just show that. We'll do it again. It's not Re Wii Sports Resort Plus. It's just Wii Sports Resort. The original Wii Sports is Wii Sports. God damn. The resort is the plus. Okay, so trying this again. We're gonna actually get all of them this time. Because last time we didn't end up getting all of them. And I want to show what happens whenever you get all of them. So, let's do it, please. Okay. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Oh, this one is dodging me. They're really good at dodging you. If you get all of them, you get a rupee prize. So, a little bit, like, I, I don't know, a little bit underwhelming. But getting all the birds, the, this is a cool thing. This is a cool mechanic in um, Skyward Sword. And I actually didn't know that it was just going up high you got that. I thought, hey, um, I don't know why that happens sometimes, but I hope I can show it in the Let's Play. And then through my sources, going and looking through my things, I realized... It's just going above, like, areas and doing the thing. And actually, the zombie pumpkin was the closest thing to us at that point. We don't have any chests to get here, but I want to stop off by the bazaar next. Okay, so at Skyloft, let's go in the bazaar. I don't know why I'm still using the controller, but I guess I'll roll with it today. Um, this will just be a controller episode because I feel like it. So, yeah. We're in the bazaar now. There's not really anything to buy from Rupin. It's not any new potions. There is Gondo, but I don't think Gondo has anything for us. So I'm gonna go and try to upgrade. Yeah, we need bird feathers and ornamental skulls. I'll work on that. I'll definitely work on that because those are upgrades worth getting. Seed satchel, not even worth the upgrade to be completely honest. And neither is the bombs. The bombs are easier to get though. We'll definitely upgrade those ones, but those ones will come last. Um, I want to go and pick up a potion while I'm here. Because I want to do one thing at night while we're in Skyloft. Because I'm, we might as well. Now that amazing concoction is called a stamina potion. Drinking it will make your stamina gauge decrease more slowly for a short time. It's a little pricey, but well worth it. I'll sell it to you for 50 rupees. Um, okay. You got a stamina potion. So you want to grab a stamina potion. Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can make something up for you. I think I'm good. So, oh, spare out. Oh, no, uh, hang on a second. I see you're looking well these days. I didn't, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you found the time to gather all a variety of magnificent treasures. Come, come closer. If it's treasure you seek, I'll use my mystical vision to find the answers for you. I'm good, Sparrow. Thank you for the, um, 
concern though. Let's go and go to Rupin's house because I also want to go and check the night market. Okay, so let's see what Rupin has. So you want to sell some treasure, kid? Well, today I'm buying these treasures. Hornet larvae, Elden Ore, Jelly Blob, Evil Crystal. Just those four. So what do you want to do? Actually, all those are a bad deal. The Amber Relic is kind of a... Kind of a good deal because Amber Relics are easier to come by. But every other treasure is horrible. Okay, really? Um, well, hopefully you come back again sometime soon. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Rupin. I mean, we might as well. I have one other thing to do at night, so I'm just gonna head up to that area. <laughs> We've been over this, Mom! Mama. Um, calm down, Pippet. Don't get so mad. How could I not be mad? It's been obvious lately that you've been giving someone rupees to clean the house. I gave you that money so you could buy some bread! If you keep spending money like this, I'll have no money to go to the Night Academy. I didn't take that job patrolling just so you could have the life of luxury. You have to stop doing this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hey there, Link. Um, what could you want at this hour? You didn't hear any of that, did you? There's no way you heard that, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll be nice. <sighs> It's not cool for Pivot to go and lash out his mom, but things happen sometimes. Nothing. It's it's nothing. Anyway, I've got to get back out on patrol. You take care of yourself when you're walking in the streets. Okay, that was definitely something that I wasn't really like planning on. But yeah, um. Going forward, let's head to the Night Academy, because we are also going to head to the Night Academy. Okay, so at the Night Academy, I'm going to go and give Pippet his space, because honestly, we did kind of catch him in an awkward situation, and his mom also had an awkward situation. Okay, here we are. We're going to go down over to Fledge, because I want to go and actually check on his progress. He's been kind of quiet. Lately, and I haven't really checked on him. Hey, Fledge. Oh, he wants to talk to us about something. Okay. Hey, buddy. 55, 56, 57. Oh, I'm sweating up a storm. Good evening, Link. I've been training hard ever since we last spoke, and I still feel so sluggish. Maybe I've just run out of energy. Oh, Link, is that... Is that a stamina potion you're carrying? Would you mind if I had some? Sure, why not? I mean, what are heroes for? <sighs> really? Wow, thanks. I'll gladly take it then. <sighs> Woohoo! That's the stuff. I feel like... I feel like I have a refreshing refreshing splash of energy Aww. sometimes I worry though all this training and no results how long do I need to train before I start getting stronger um a couple months what do you think Link how many push-ups do you think I need to go and do to get strong it's not about numbers like honestly it's not about numbers huh? it's not about numbers of course you mean I should just keep at it until I've forgotten how many I've done, right? I guess that makes sense. Now that I know that, I'll definitely start getting stronger. Come back soon, so you can see how I'm doing. Yep. You're welcome, Fledge. He didn't even say thank you or anything, but you know what? I'll take his silence as a vote of thanks. Okay, so back out on regular Skyloft during the day. We want to go and head back into the Thunderhead because we kind of explained what we needed to do last episode. So let's go.
Oh, I got a sky tail. Okay. Okay, back on the Isle of Songs. Let's go and head in. Because we have another song to learn, apparently. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the quest, struck the quest, yeah, struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword. A message from the goddess awakened within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. Two sacred flames remain. Should you desire to possess them, you, sh you must be able to obtain the other sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Harness the power of these gifts, and let there be no doubt, you shall find yourself standing before the majesty of the sacred flames. Now, I give you another melody. It will serve as the key to unlocking your next trial, which await you in the shifting sands of Lanaru Desert. The song you just heard is called Nairu's Wisdom. Use this song of knowledge at your next trial. You learn Nairu's Wisdom. I have memorized Nairu's Wisdom for you. You can now use Dowsing to locate the gate for the next trial. You should set a course for Lanairu Desert immediately. Okay, and with that, we have our next quest objective, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Zordon Hurry here, signing out. See you guys in the next one.